very different from Corona. Just a follow-up question. Yeah, go ahead, sure. Okay, so, uh, Dr. Redfield, the Washington Post, which we did the interview with them, they quoted you as saying there's a possibility that the assault of the virus on our nation next winter will actually be much, even more difficult than the one we just went through. And when I've said this to others, they've kind of put their head back. They don't understand what I mean. We're going to have the flu epidemic and the coronavirus epidemic at the same time. Is that what you said to the Washington Post? Yeah, that's what I was trying to say to you uh, just a minute ago, that the issue that I was talking about, about being more difficult, is that we're going to have two viruses circulating at the same time. This spring that we just went through, February, we had a benefit of having the flu season ended. So we could use all our flu surveillance systems to say, whoops, this is coronavirus. We need to focus. Next fall and, and uh, winter, we are going to have two viruses circulating. And we're going to have to distinguish between which is flu and which is the coronavirus. And so the comment that I made, it's more difficult. Doesn't mean it's going to be more impossible. Doesn't mean it's going to be more, as some people have said, uh, Worse, it just means it's more difficult because we have to distinguish between the two. And what I was wanting to do and what I want to do again here is appeal to the American public to recognize they can really help like they did with mitigation, which they really helped. I need them to help now to best prepare us by getting the flu vaccine and taking flu out of the picture. So here are the official CDC flu vaccine effectiveness percentages of the people that they kind of study which is a certain control group, so you know that if this were done to the whole population, the numbers would be a lot different, but vaccine effectiveness, 45%, 55%, 25%, 43%, pathetic. So here you can find this online, the Department of Health of New York, and this says 9,500 cases in 2019. Same time around 2020, 10,500. So you can see that laboratory confirmed influenza reports. 2019 again, February 23rd, 9,500. 20, 8,500. So keep looking at this because this is very interesting. I compared last year and this year's um, vac uh, rates of influenza. So 2019, 7,000. March 2020, 7,000 again, pretty similar. They're pretty much the same. 2019, 6,500 in March 9th. And then you can see March 14th, 2020, 6,000, still very much the same. Something's going to happen soon, you'll see. March 16th, 2019, 7,100, 10% increase. March 21st, I start to go down, 3,300, 45% decrease in the past week. March in the same year, it was 5,000, the year before, 5,200. And then March 28, 2020, they go down again, 767 in a week, 77% decrease. So now we go back to a year ago, April 13, 2019, 3,350 laboratory confirmed reports. And then April 4th, 2020, 193 lab reports, 75% decrease over last week. So is this a result of confinement and a new way people are cleaning themselves? Or is this something fudging the numbers here? April 11th, 2015, the numbers were still high, almost 1,928 in 2015. So then May 4th, 2019, 530 cases. So this is when they start to go down in May, usually. But then April 20th, 2,000 cases in 2019. And then May 18th, 2019, 210 cases. So that's when it usually gets down to that number. But it happened a lot sooner this year. And so that guy talking with the glasses is Robert Redfield or something. He's the new CDC director. And he's got a little bit of a sketchy past about fudging numbers and different things in the Army. He fudged different statistics to um, like about relating to HIV and the blood and all this stuff. And he praises vaccines and loves it. So he is not... Someone to fully be trusted. None of these people are, sadly. When it comes to our health, no one can be trusted but you. It's complicated because we'll have flu and coronavirus circulating at the same time. I want to emphasize that we continue to build the nation's public health infrastructure to ensure that we have the capacity to stay in the containment mode. Those of you who heard me talk before, I've told you that in January and February, up to February 27, 28, this nation had 14 cases. Uh, we were in the containment mode, and then unfortunately the virus overwhelmed where we got into extreme mitigation. We are building that public health ca capacity now to make sure that we stay in the containment mode uh, for the upcoming fall and winter 
uh, season. So we will not need to resort to the kind of mitigation that we had to this spring. I have confidence that our public health response of early case recognition that we've talked about, isolation and contact tracing, uh, combined with our plans for increased surveillance, particularly in, for the most vulnerable, will be an effective uh, public health strategy so our nation will be able to maintain itself in the containment mode. And again, that will be supported by the American public's continued cooperation, obviously in the areas of personal hygiene and the, the types of social distancing strategies that uh, may be appropriate. The key uh, uh, to my comments, and the reason that I really wanted to stress them, was to appeal to the American public to embrace the flu vaccine with confidence. One of the greatest tools we have as we go through the fall, winter season that we're into, is to get the American public to embrace the influenza vaccine and thereby minimize the impact of flu to be the co-respiratory disease that we confront. Thank you very much. So again, I don't claim to know anything. I'm not on the front lines seeing stuff. And uh, I don't really know, but I know that they are pushing vaccines. I know that there is a lot of sinister people behind this, a lot of people who have been waiting for this for a very long time. And there are a lot of things being set in motion, like voting by mail, that are just too convenient for the, the enemy to, um, to basically be uh, just a random act of uh, coincidence that all of a sudden this type of scenario is creating a scene for all these ridiculous things to be pushed in the elimination of our freedoms and who did it i really don't know i i don't even care to tell anymore i think i have a, a, some ideas but it's 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 just ridiculous i am still under the impression that I, you know I, I just have no fear of it whether i rem i want to remain healthy i want to keep eating food i want to keep exercising my mind and body and i think we all should do the same and just live without fear living with fear creates disease and um, just whether it's uh, real or imaginary, who knows? It's just we got to just get back to normal and we will get back to normal. Don't believe when they say we won't. We definitely will. Bless you all.